Hello and welcome, I'm Chris and this is the Hair Tutorial Channel and on this channel I give you weekly hair tutorials on everything from cutting, colouring to hair up. And on this week's video we're looking at the wolf cut, the shag cut, the wolf mullet, whatever you want to call it. If you've got long hair and you want the latest on trend, this is the cut for you. So let's get to it. Okay, so as you can see we've sectioned the head into basically four quadrants. We have the fringe, we have our side section, and we have the whole of our back. Now, now I'm sure you've seen a lot of videos on TikTok where people have been doing themselves, and that's fine, and you know, and I've done one as well, and I'll link that up above in the card. But our fringe is gonna be the main sort of guide for this whole haircut. And as we know, the sort of the curtain fringe is the main sort of structure of it. Nice and sort of high on this central point, coming down towards the corner. So again, really just for speed, anything else, I'm just gonna do a twisted fringe and cut it. Again, however you feel most comfortable doing this. So fingers in, turn, turn again, and then gauge our length. Okay, so I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna point cut. Again, if you want to, you could take off some of the length before you did this. So there we go, there we have our fringe to work off. And of course, you can work on this, you can soften it as much as you want. We're gonna soften into this anyway. So the first thing we're gonna do now is go back to our central guide. So as you can see with the sectioning, it comes from the fringe just to nearly the crown. And then these side pieces come up as well and intercept with that. And then obviously the back is everything behind the crown. So our guide for the rest of the haircut is we're going to take a central position from the crown down to the front of our fringe. Okay, as you can see, now we're simply going to elevate this and we're going to take a tiny bit off this internal layer by point cutting and following it back to the crown area. Now we're going to take another section from here orange segment and we're going to over direct that back to the center and just follow the guide that we've created now you can come down as deep into this even now when you're sort of doing the haircut or later on when the haircut's dried you could do it with a razor, you could do it with a pair of thinning scissors, however you want to. So as you can see, we've got our nice sort of arc fringe coming and flicking back. And now we're on to our side panels. So really, again, very, very simple. We've basically put in now the basis of the haircut. So from this crown point, we are simply gonna take forward diagonal sections and we're going to bring this up again over directing back to our central point finding our guide if the sections too big simply break it down into more manageable sections once again taking our forward diagonal section see we're creating shortness at the front of the haircut going into length on the crown and, that, and that's going to enable us to leave a lot more length coming into the back. So if you were doing this, I, you know, I've done it in three sections, but I do take very large sections. And also as well, I don't want you sitting and watching this for hours upon hours upon hours. So break the sections down into sort of something that you feel comfortable managing. Okay, so that's one side done. As you can see, we've already got our texture, we've already got our movement going, and then obviously we're gonna repeat this 
on the other side. As you can see, we've got sort of our nice fringe, our nice sort of layering going through the front. We have got a little disconnection at the minute between the back and the front, but that's gonna be resolved as we come through the back area. Okay, so we're going back now to our middle part, which really, along with the fringe, has been the structure of the whole haircut. And we're following that back down. So on this front section, we've used that. We've taken forward diagonal sections and we've over-directed everything up to this point. Now we're gonna to come to the back and we're gonna to continue to use this as our guide. So we're gonna take a section running through the back, right the way down into the nape of the neck. Now when you come to the back, you've got a number of options. You could, you could leave it disconnected so you have more of a mullet. You could just continue along with the guideline that you've already done, which is there or you could come squarer. And this all really depends on the length of the hair. Obviously, if you've got long hair and they want to keep the length, you really want to angle your fingers up as much as possible to keep all that length going. However, if you have got a little bit of something to play with, you might want to come across a little bit squarer to give you a bit more of sort of a textured effect. So once again, coming through the back, you could raise a club cut, point cut, however you feel sort of most comfortable. Now from that central point, we're simply gonna take an orange segment over direct back to our previous section. So in this case, our previous section was our middle section. So we're gonna over direct everything back to that section. Once again, if you can't, Take it all in one section, break it down or let it just fall out and pick it up as you go. Okay, so as you can see, there's the finished haircut. Didn't take very long at all to do. And now really it's just a case of drying that off and then having a look through it and texturizing it and just making sure that the haircut does really balance. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just dry it off, chip through it a little bit and I'll show you the finished result. Mm -hmm. 